What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and today we are decorating my catch-all layout for the last week in September. Crazy! I cannot believe that we're coming up on the final 100 days of 2021. It just blows my mind. So what I've been using the last few weeks is the teacher layout and I really like it. I like that it's lined. I like that you can plan vertically or you can plan horizontally. The only thing you have to do, since it's Monday through Friday because it's a subject layout going across this way, is it's gotta be redated. But I've said this before in other videos, I actually really like redating planners because it gives me a chance to customize even more the layout. So the first thing I'm going to do is white out the days of the week and I'm going to move them to the top of the, of the pages. So we'll clear this out. And I always end up putting decorative stickers down this way anyways, so I'm not worried about like all the schmutz, you know, that's, that's showing up down there. We're not gonna worry about that. So the sticker books I am using today, the Papillon sticker book, the Butterfly sticker book. This is gorgeous. There is a flip through on my channel, so if you have not seen it, check that out if this is something that, to see if this is something that you might be interested in. I'm not a huge butterfly person, but I really, really like the colors in this book. The colors are so beautiful. I love the vintage botanicals. There's some quotes in there, some interesting shapes. I love that some of the boxes are like, like paint strokes um, rather than like solid color. And I like, I just think that that is so pretty. So I thought I would break, break this bad boy out today. I also pulled the Jewel Tone Boxes book just in case I wanted to add some boxes without um, decor on them. I'm not sure how well of a color match these will be, but your girl's gonna try. There's really beautiful colors in here. This was sold in a sticker book, sticker box, sticker <laughs> sticker storage bundle. Um, and it's one of my favorite um, functional box books, but you can't buy this uh, on its own. Maybe someday, someday they'll sell this on its own. I also pulled some washi tape. These were just very, very neutral washi and of course, grid. I go in and out of loving and hating grid washi. I love the way that it looks, but I get tired of seeing it on every spread. And so I, I tend to steer away from it because I don't, I don't want to, I don't know, participate in the grid phenomena, but I actually think that this grid could look really beautiful with the florals. So that's what I pulled. Let's uh, let's start with dating this. I think that'll help kind of set the tone for how things are gonna go. And I was looking at these stickers. So there's a couple options to set the dates at the top. There's these ones, and I was thinking I actually we just cut the butterfly off. So it'd be kind of like a drop flag type deal. And then there's also, um, where are they? Where are they? These, these could be really good for redating. So you can even just put the number of the, uh, of the date, the number of the date, the number of the day of the week. You could put that in there. This is too obvious for me for today. I think I want to play a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these, but I'm going to cut them. So, I'm gonna pull my little cutting board out. I got this on Amazon. And this is linked uh, in my Amazon link down below. So if you are curious, tools I like to use when I'm decorating, these are my tweezers also from Amazon. A boning tool, love that as well. At some point I'm gonna do an um, like my favorite planner tools, top 10 favorite planning tools. These two will most assuredly be on there. So let's grab a ruler and a knife. We'll go with a nice sharp one, this Fiskars one. And I'll show you cutting one and then I think I probably will edit out um, this whole process because it could take a while. So I'm just cutting 
like so. And I grabbed a piece of wax paper and I'm just going to peel off that one, one guy. You can kind of see ever so, ever so slightly like his little legs, but that's not gonna bother me. So I'm going to speed this up and get this going. Okay, so I've cut the butterflies off. I'm gonna trim this one a little bit more. I really love coming up with different ways to use stickers. Specifically, stickers that I'm not sure how to use or if I like the way that they look on their own. Like this is a hard, this would be a great layering sticker, but I don't do a lot of layering like clusters. I do, I, I like everything being pretty symmetrical, but very, I don't know, all over the place as well. Kind of confusing to say. Um, so I really like thinking, okay, here's a sheet. I can use it as it is, but what is more my style? How can I make it work for me? I will always say, y'all, always make it work for you. Always, always, always. So we've got seven flags and I'm gonna just use this wax paper to see if I can figure out how do I want these to be oriented? Do I want them to go like this way? Do I want them to go this way? What's, what's another way that this could go? This way? Hmm. So this is what I do. This is what I do when I'm planning and I'm not filming and I'm just doing it for myself. I am playing around with different ways to configure um, stickers like this. The other thing I should think about as, as I'm figuring out how I wanna do these is what numbers I'm going to use. So I pulled, these are the uh, sticker sheets that come in extension packs. I'm a big, big extension pack gal, and so I tend to have a lot of these kind of dating dating your planner items. Obviously, I've used that one a whole lot. And so I wanna think about, you know, what numbers would I want to use and how would that play into where I place these stickers? So these stickers. So this is a pretty punchy black number. And I like adding black because it, it just, I don't know, it makes colors look more beautiful, more vivid. But I don't think, I don't think that this really matches, so I'm not gonna use that. And then, hmm, this is from the Girl With Goals and this is from the Homebody. Hmm. So let me check like the font. I could do something like this. Yeah, that that wouldn't be too bad, but it's just not, they're almost not big enough. Hmm, 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 hmm. These aren't punchy enough, so I think I'm not going to use them, and I am going to use these guys, and I hope I don't regret that decision. Um, so if I'm going to use these guys, let's see, the, the um, the day of the week, let's see, today's the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. So I'm gonna pull off a 27 and just see, you know, where would I layer this? Where would I layer it? Would I put it here? Maybe here, if I did that, could I do that? Hmm. And if I add washi, where would I, how would I layer that? Let's grab some of this and just rip it. And I'm a big fan of horizontal ripping. So if I did like that, could I do something like that? If I did something like this, and I did something like that, how would that look like that? Let's move this guy up here. And something like that. I kind of like that. I think that's kind of cute. 
Alternatively, if we did it that way, would we want to do it like that? Hmm. I think I'm feeling this orientation. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to the location and just need to figure out what order in which I want to. I wanna separate the yellowy tones. So, and then those are kind of similar. So maybe have those be opposite locations or every other location every other day, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plot these guys down. So I've laid these stickers down and this is definitely gonna leave a lot of open space up here, but I'm just gonna go with it. We're gonna call it good. And now I'm just going to rip a bunch of washi and then rip it horizontally so let's just throw these down all right days of the week are set I just have to decide if I want to put in like you know Monday Tuesday Wednesday etc let's go back to this guy and pull a margin sticker for the side just to get that blank space taken care of. We can do noted, I really like this sticker a lot. I think I'm gonna use this sticker and I'm going to put it towards the bottom. Let's see, how long do we want this to go? I'm gonna put this right here So it covers a good portion of the white out. And then I'm going to grab some butterflies, just a variety of butterflies, and just kind of have them all kind of going up, going up the side of the margin. There. Let's get some other colors. Those are very warm toned. How about this green one? Ooh, let's get a blue one. Really, really pretty. Look at the blue one. Throw that guy right there. And, yep, we're gonna do that. I think because this has so much space at the top, let's grab a strip of this washi they give us washi, which is really nice. If I can find it. There it is. Um, I think I'm gonna use this kind of vintage floral pattern just to not make this too butterfly-y, butterfly-ish. So I think this long piece should cover or should go across the whole thing up at the top. And this is just filling in that gap a bit. That should be almost a perfect fit. Almost. And then let's see if this guy Will fit. Should be pretty darn close. I like it. And I 
feel like I'm gonna need a little bit more <clears throat> just to be make this more cohesive. So I'm just gonna take this little piece and throw it down here like it's just kind of like the base uh, of this margin, like that. A little funky, but I like it. I feel like all my spreads are all like a little funky. Okay, so days of the week, done. Sidebar, done. Let's see what else do we want to do. Hmm. Let's see. I want to incorporate more of these flowers since I just introduced them. I and want so these guys. These are going to pull together the, the stuff up at the top, the washi up at the top. So, um, and specifically in this kind of blue gray blue gray tone oh it's so pretty so I'm gonna grab a few different colors of this let's get some decorative boxes going hmm all right so I'm gonna grab this first box and throw it down how about let's figure out I think I want to cover up the butterflies on the decorative boxes only because I don't want to do like a ton of butterfly, you know? Should I go like that? Or should I go, I'm gonna go behind it, but I'm gonna go behind like that. And I'm gonna throw this here And then there are these button stickers. Where are the button stickers? That are ideal. So here's some. Ooh, those are pretty. Would that be, would that be a little weird? Would that be a little weird? It's a little weird, but I like weird. I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be kind of like junk journal vibes. All right, so we've got that there. Let's do a pink one. It's kind of light pink tone with this blue underneath it. Maybe like that. That's pretty. And I'm gonna put this guy right here. Ooh, we're gonna run into the punch. Careful. I like kind of going between days just so that I have flexibility with what day I wanna put, what, what day I wanna use this sticker for, if that makes sense. Let's find another one of those button stickers. And let's do, let's do these ones. that and I know that there are some double boxes and I like using double boxes on weekends hmm ideally a double box that's not too butterfly -y. that's pretty though hmm I think I want to use this one. Look for the beauty all around. And where do we want to put it? Just right here? Down here? I think I want to put this up here. And do we want to add, I'm leaving this butterfly because he's cool. Should we add, so this pink, there's some yellow. Hmm. Maybe a little bit of that with a little bit of, uh oh, this guy ripped. A little bit of these. 
her. Oh no! All right, this one's coming off. Unless I can get it, unless I can salvage it. Can she salvage it? This is what happens when you play a little too much. Play a little bit too much with your stickers. Let's see if I can do it. We're gonna go for it. And I'm gonna add it right right here. Sure. This edge off. Funky. I like funky spreads, you guys. I like doing doing weird things and seeing what happens. <laughs> okay, so we got that on the weekend. And, hmm. I feel like we need a more pinky tone. Should we do something like this? Maybe one of these? Down here. Uh, just to match this floral background, I'm going to add this guy up here. And I'm going to add another small box below it. How about like this guy? And just add him down below. So it's like a little cluster. Hmm. And I do not do clusters like that. Let's see. Let's grab one of these guys, but I don't want any gold foil. So I'm going to cut off. What color do I want to do? I'm going to do. Hmm. I'm going to do important. And I'm going to just cut off the gold part and peel it off and throw this down here and we'll just lose the first bullet but that's okay important and I think because we did this here we want to do something up here let's grab I don't want any color to be too close this is just slightly a different tone, so we're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna grab this guy and throw it here. And add, remember. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some uh, decorative, I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna add like, I'm gonna add some butterflies like making their way up the spread. Because I have this box here, I don't need, I don't need this space to be used. So we're gonna flow them all like upwards. Get a variety, let's get a green one. Go there, some on this side. So then it's like they're going that way. There we go. Right here. I wonder if I can change the orientation of this guy. Nope. He's stuck. Hmm. Should I throw in a gold quote even though there's no gold anywhere else? I'm going to go with shine your light. And uh, I'm just going to throw it down here. All right, friends, is that it? Is that all we wanna do? 
I think it is. Let's see what it looks like on discs. All right, so here it is on discs. The last thing I wanna do is just use my paper folding tool and just push out all of the air bubbles that are in the butterflies. Basically any transparent sticker, you're gonna see like air underneath. So you really wanna push it down and that's what makes the sticker look like it's totally married to the paper. Totally married to the paper. This is very different from any spread I've ever done. I'm kinda on the fence about it, but I like changing things up. I like doing something different. So we're just gonna go for it. There it is with the gold foil. I think that's really pretty. And um, yeah, very different. I contemplated adding like MON, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, or even adding, oh, I could add letters. Maybe I will add letters. Hold on, let's try it. And hope I don't regret it. We're gonna try to go right on the line. So Monday. I can feel some of you screaming through the through YouTube saying, don't do it. Just let me let me try. Let me try. Wednesday. I feel like that fills in the top nice. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I do R for Thursday. I, I thought that was a common thing, but apparently it's not. Um, it's something that we do in higher ed. And so I just, I don't know, I've been working in higher ed for a really long time. So I just presume that's like what everybody does, but apparently it's not. R is the abbreviation for Thursday. That way you don't have two T's. So when you're working on like an academic calendar, like a schedule, um, those days are differentiated and you know Saturday Sunday we don't often offer classes so the S's aren't really an issue so Saturday and Sunday we did it we added days of the week what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Do you think that was a bad decision or a good decision? Um, what are your thoughts? I won't, my feelings won't be hurt if it is not your preference. Just be nice about it, you know. Just be like, Elizabeth, I probably would have done it, but you know, it is what it is. All right, friends, now the spread is done. What do you think? Let me know. Uh, if you have any questions about my process or about these sticker books, Please do not hesitate to ask. I am here but to serve. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore planes. It is always a good time. I'm very active over there in my stories and in DMs. I'd love to chat with you. And if you haven't done so already, I do hope that you will subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Um, I really would love to have the time to do more of this. And so um, that's really dependent on, you know, me putting out content that you're interested in and you guys subscribing. So if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe. And until next time, friend, God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, imagine that the credits have already rolled and I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm thinking something's not right. And I realized it's because I put grid washi up here and I didn't put it anywhere else, it doesn't look balanced. So after credits, I am going in, lifting up layered stickers as carefully as possible, and I'm adding more grid washi to the rest of the layout. So I wasn't going to pop back on and say this on YouTube and just you know let the picture on Instagram speak for itself. But since I know that not everybody is on Instagram, uh, I really wanted to make sure that I accounted for that. So, see that? Added a little bit of grid there. And I for sure want to add some more grid here. So I'm just as carefully as possible, like this already has kind of fallen apart. I have undo somewhere that liquid that you can pour onto 
a sticker and it loosens up the adhesive and yet still lets it be sticky for the next time you lay something down. I have that product, but I don't have it near me. So we are just carefully peeling and I know not everybody has that undo. So this is good, you know, to see how I would do it. I would just very carefully like kind of shave underneath it. So there's a little bit, there's a little bit, there's a little bit. Where else? You know, I could add a small rip down here just to soften that straight edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Grab a piece, rip it so we have a raw edge. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Although if I do that, that makes me feel like I gotta do something up there, but I'm not going to. All right, do I wanna add washi anywhere else? Like, do I wanna add, do I wanna like soften some edges here? Sure, look at that, cute. Nine times out of 10, you guys, I'm just throwing stuff down and hoping it looks cute. And then I can look at it all week when I'm planning. That's really the trick. Can you live with it? If you gotta look at it all week, can you live with it? And I take the time to change it if I can't. You can always, you know, start a new week and do things different the next time. But I um, I can't do that. If I don't wanna look at my planner because I, I don't like the way that it looks, that's a problem. So I will go back and change things up if need be. All right, we have added extra grid. And now we are done. Bye guys. I'll see you in my next video.